a very good morning to everyone this is asif khan so today's lesson i'm just going to tell you that how we can automate whatsapp using pay auto gui library so here i have just already created a script so i'm just going to explain you that how you can use this code for enhancements so this is the python script use pay auto gui library to send messages one by one with a specific delay between them it reads the message content from the file and simulates the process of typing pressing enter for each message let's break down the code step by step first of all i have just import pay auto gui library pay auto gui library and import time if you don't know about the what is pay auto gui library so pay auto gui library is used for automation pay auto gui is used to control the mouse and keyboard to automate the message sending process message sending process now i have just created a function def def send message one by one what it will do it will just send message one by one inside the function the script first try to get a custom delay value you can just see that here i have a custom delay value which will enter a delay between messages in a second this is the user prompt enter delay in a seconds between each message the script then attempting to read read the file the message content from the file name data.txt just you can see the data.txt you can put all the thing whatever you want to automate so here i have just created a uh, love quotes <laughs> so all the data are coming from the data.txt all the messages are coming from a data.txt so you can see with the open data docs txt with the open txt as a file message file dot red lines it's reached a line of file and store them in a list called messages check if the messages list is empty python code if not message the print error data docs txt print error data docs txt if file if there is a no message in the file suppose there is a no message in a data docs txt so what it will do it will just raise the error the data txt file is empty the file is empty if the message list is empty the script prints an error message and exit from the user focus on the input so here i have just explained you about this code how those how these codes are working so to use this code first of all you have to open a uh, whatsapp web so already i have just opened my whatsapp web and you have to select to whom you want to automate this message to whom you want to automate this message so let's start it so i will just go to the base.py so this is the name of my python file which will be used for this automation task so what i have to do i have to just run this task from here i'll just run the task and i'll just set a delay i'll just set a delay between messages in a second so what you have to just define in a second and you can just define anything in a second so i'm just going to define a second in one second when each message will be sent one one by one in a one second hit the enter button and i will just locate to the whatsapp web and i will you can see all the messages are coming from data dos txt your love is the sunshine every day spent for the use a uh, daily value spends so these are the uh, love course that i'm just sending to my <laughs> i can't share that whom i'm saying you can see that all the messages are just coming from i'm not writing you can just see the how fast each message are sending one by one in a one second so let's guess and increase the speeds so now all the messages has been sent successfully so what i will do so each message is sending one by one in a one second so now i'm just going to increase the second decrease sorry decrease the second so it will be faster so again run the code and i'm just going to say 0.5 and hit the enter button if i just go to the whatsapp wave you can see how fast it will automate you can see you can see how auto how fast is automating the task <laughs> you can see how fast is automating 
so you can see that this all data is the all, this all messages are coming from data.txt you can see your love is sunshine in my life every day spent with you this all messages I have a 20 messages in a data docs txt so here you can just replace with your own message use I replace with your own data you can replace with anything <laughs> so thank you for watching our videos